So example two would be saying b of x is equal to, and I'm going to say similar thing. It's going to be a cubic polynomial. So x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7. So far, so good. Now let's take the derivative of this, and I'm getting 3x squared plus 8x plus 7. Now let's solve this. Okay, so first of all, is there anywhere that b prime of x does not exist? And b of x is a polynomial. So that's an important fact to carry forward, but I don't even have to worry about this situation. Now I need to solve b prime of x is equal to zero. So I'm going to have 3x squared plus 8x plus 7 is equal to zero. Now you, I don't know if you're thinking this, but often students will think, okay, I want to subtract by seven. You know why you don't, you know why you do that here and you don't do that here is because when we looked at this, we only had one place that the unknown occurred. So we could isolate that x squared and make it happen. Here we have two places that the unknown occurs. So we're not going to be able to isolate x. And instead, this is a quadratic equation. And so we'll need the quadratic formula. Yep, so we're going to sing the song. Now, we might be able to factor this. In this case, we can't, right? Opposite of b, opposite of b, plus or minus square root, plus or minus square root, p squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, all over 2a. And then I have to identify, okay, my a was 3, b was 8, c was 7, and I'm going to solve this now and say the x solutions are x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root 8 squared minus 4 times 3 times 7 all over 2 times 3. And I, this is a place where it'd be totally appropriate to use a calculator to simplify this. Using 8 squared, the important thing to check out is can I actually even take this square root? So is 8 squared minus 4 times 3 times 7, is that positive, negative, or 0? It's certainly not 0, but I can't do that without a calculator. So I'm just going to go to a calculator and say, okay, if I have 8 squared minus, you said, okay, and so all I'm caring about here is, is this positive, negative, or 0? It turns out this is negative 20. So this would be x is equal to x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 20 all over 6. Now, can I take the square root of a negative number and have it be a real number? Yeah, this would be involve imaginary numbers. And we're not dealing with imaginary numbers right now, so there are no real solutions here. We don't have things that involve um, imaginary numbers on our graph. And the whole place that we started this was saying it has to be on the graph. What that means is this graph doesn't have any critical points. And we can confirm that by graphing it. So when I go to graph it, I'm going to have f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x. I look at it, I don't see anywhere that the slope actually goes flat. And I can even graph f prime of x just by typing in, oh, what happens this right? Now, it does have a place where it bottoms out, but that's not the same as being equal to zero. 